hi everyone welcome back to yet another video i hope you guys are all good i am Tulukuka for those that are new to this channel on this video i'm going to be showing you how i prepare my hair for long wear protective hairstyles like braids and i'm going to be showing you how i keep my hair moisturized make sure it's clean and also that it's going to be protected underneath that protective hairstyle Two weeks before I do my long wear protective hairstyle, I make sure that I do a strengthening treatment on my hair to make sure that my hair is detoxified of any toxins and also that it will be strong underneath that protective hairstyle. I'm first going to use black tea to thoroughly detangle my hair. Black tea helps you have less shedding on your hair and also it will nourish and strengthen your hair. By using it to detangle my hair, I'm making sure that it soaks into my hair while I'm busy with each section and also it makes detangling easy because it nourishes your hair making it easy for you to detangle your hair. After thoroughly detangling my hair, I'm going to use this bentonite clay mix. I have a video on how to do this bentonite clay mix if you're interested in another video, which I'm going to link. I'm also going to use that black tea to make sure that my hair is wet because the bentonite clay can make your hair very dry. The bentonite clay is used to detoxify any toxins that might be left in your hair after using so many products and also being in some pollution outside as well as make your hair strong bentonite clay also prevents a lot of hair loss so I'm also going to focus it mainly on my scalp and then any leftovers I put onto my strands while the bentonite clay is still wet, I massage it onto my scalp to make sure that all my scalp areas are covered and also I make sure that it covers all of my hair strands. I will then also add more moisture because bentonite clay dries very fast and then after that I will make sure to cover my head with a plastic cap or just any plastic to make sure that it fully penetrates my hair for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. After doing one hour of that bentonite hair treatment on my hair and also stimulating it with heat underneath the towel, I'll just rinse it off with only water by the way. And now I am going to add back moisture onto my hair by using this Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner, this hot oil treatment using extra virgin olive oil, MPL black castor oil, as well as the DD Era Growth Stimulating Oil. To add back moisture, I'll do the LCO method. I'll first start with that conditioner, making sure that it fully coats my strands, and then I'll seal it in with that hot oil treatment. After that, I'll just braid it down section by section. When I am done adding back that moisture, I'm going to make sure to put on a plastic cap again and cover it with a towel to make sure that that um, conditioner and oil stimulate my hair and then I'll rinse it off with cold water. A day before doing my protective hairstyle, I'll basically do my normal wash day routine. I'll make sure my hair is thoroughly detangled. I use water and the Native Child Detangling Moisture Cream. By making sure that your hair is fully detangled before a long wear protective hairstyle, your hair will experience less breakage while it is being braided by the person who's braiding your hair as well as it will maintain your protective hairstyle for a longer period. After thoroughly detangling my hair, I'm going to make sure that my hair is very clean, my scalp is clean as well as my hair strands. 
so I'm going to use the sheer moisture strengthening and restore shampoo that is clarifying to actually wash out any dirt residue that I might have on my scalp and hair I'm going to wash my hair two times to make sure that it is thoroughly clean I'm then going to add back moisture again using Shea Moisture Conditioner, the Extra Virgin Olive Oil, MPL Castor Oil, the DD Era Growth Stimulating Oil, and this time also the Sealing Hair Butter by DD Era. I'm doing the LCO method again by starting with that um, Shea Moisture Conditioner, sealing in with a hot oil treatment using those three oils. And then adding that hair butter for more moisture on my hair as well as ensuring that my hair will be soft to the touch and also very moisturized while I do my protective style. I'll deep condition again using um, a plastic cap or plastic and then wrap it with a towel, leave it in for maybe 30 to 1 hour and then after that I'll rinse it with cold water as always. Now as for the extensions that I'm going to be using to do my braids, I'm going to make sure that I remove all preservatives on the braids to make sure that it doesn't irritate my skin because I have sensitive skin on my scalp and also on my body where the braids will be touching me. I put those braiding hair extensions on a hanger using the elastic that's already there on the extensions and I also tie them securely on the bottom to make sure that they don't get loose and tangled with the other extensions while I'm trying to rinse them. I'm rinsing off the hair extensions with white vinegar and you can use also apple cider vinegar if you have that and then I'm going to put them gently in lukewarm water or cold water to make sure that they do not tangle together and as you can see while I'm busy pressing on these extensions there's white residue which is those preservatives that will make your scalp and body itchy if a hair extensions touches you if you have sensitive skin like me. As you can see the water is bubbly, cloudy and that is the preservatives. I'm then going to rinse it again twice with water only just to make sure that the vinegar is removed and then I will dry it with an old t-shirt or you can also use a towel. On the day of getting my protective hairstyle, I thought I'm going to airbrush my hair with that hair dryer brush but when I was undoing my hair, I found out that it's already dry. So I only use the brush just to make sure that my hair is combed and brushed properly and that the person who's braiding my hair won't have any problems opening lines or break my hair while she is braiding my hair. So that is it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye!